Welcome back to the Setter Podcast. We got Mark Quinn here. Just us this time. It, y- y'all thought we was going to have only guests. Nah, it's just us. It's a special day. Do y'all <laughs> no, know what? How y'all no, feeling? It's just us. <laughs> How y'all feeling? I'm feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling great. Um, I'm feeling ecstatic. Yeah? <laughs> I'm feeling great, yeah. That's good. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, do y'all know what this next episode is going to be? Mm. It's coming on the 25th. Um, I think I know what we're going to talk about. What are we going to talk about? I know what we're going to talk about. Just say what we're going to talk about so we can get through with this. Terry Lanes? No. Okay. <laughs> no. I, mean, I mean, we can talk about that, but... <laughs> oh, wait. It's our anniversary. Yeah. It's our anniversary. I'm thinking about Terry Lanes right now. He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Mouthful, mouthful. This is dropping on the 25th, but the day before, which is a Monday, August 24th, will be our four-year anniversary of us being whoa, ETC. Whoa, whoa. Uh... Horn, sirens. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop. About four bop, years bop. ago, me and Mark were sitting four in scoring. his house in <laughs> in Franklin Street. I'm like, yo, like, we be talking about this shit all the time. We wasting time. We should just, like, start doing it and stop talking about it. And he was like, all right, well, we need a name. And we sat there on a hot summer's day in his house yep. thinking about shit all day. I'm like, yo, we making this thing, Q. We've been talking about it for a long time. We gonna call it ETC. What you think? He was like, I think that's pretty good. And the rest is history. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. <laughs> it was all off the court. He has it. He has it frames in his house. I've seen it. That's what he says. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and here so we are, good. four years later. Yes. Yes. We've come a long way. I just they just needed me for some eye candy. Honestly, <laughs> you know. I remember us, uh, me and uh, Victor sitting there, and Victor was on the computer. I was on the couch on my phone, looking up stuff too as well. We were just sitting there thinking of different names and we couldn't figure out exactly what we wanted because we were like, oh, yeah, you know, we want to record shit. But then we also want to, you know, do this podcast thing because we obviously see like no one's really doing it. And we were like, and oh, it's, we it's that. something that we can do consistently. Yeah. Which we have. And, um, <laughs> and we I locked my car. It's a little bit too late for all that talk. Wow. Sorry about that. Forget something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially downtown. But. Um, I remember we were sitting there and then we were trying to think of different names and then while we were putting it in, we were like, I think looking on YouTube, we we're just seeing like who else yeah. had the name so we wouldn't get, you know, be like, damn. So, oh, it was uh, the fact that we would write it down and it would be mm-hmm. like, oh, it's already taken. Yeah. So then we were like, God damn, like so, everybody keeps taking something that had to do with like, et cetera, or just like, you know, ETC or anything like that. But eventually we got it. So here we are now. I posted that picture the other day comparing uh, 2017 to now and it's like, kind of weird like we were sitting on your like wooden table in your living room uh, and like yeah. we all just look so young and <laughs> different yeah what was i wearing did i did i fucking i, I look like shirt, white yeah, shirt well, with a, i look like enough, giuseppe like, stromboli like <laughs> i was like who was i i don't yeah. know Quinn, you're the only one i think out of all of us that had like so many phases yeah <laughs> like, oh, you went through a lot of phases like, i went through you a lot of tell. phases i thought about it the other day it was like go ahead like, like, go ahead. No, you go ahead. So there I want to hear it. Man bun Q, mm. bald Q, mm-hmm. blonde Q, mm-hmm. uh, just regular, you know, just fade. Short hair Short Q. hair Q. This is the usual thing I go back to. But yeah. I felt like your beard probably was a little different. Like, uh, his his facial hair, was it just grew over time. Yeah, so. Um, what else? We had, let's see. So I said bald, blonde, <laughs> regular haired. The fact that there's four bun. is just like, that says a lot. And then there was like. <laughs> Theater Kid Q. <laughs> I mean, he's still around. He's yeah. just hitting deep down. He's waiting to branch out again. Yeah, what else? We, what, what else is? What am I missing? Q. Uh, y- y- there was a time in 2014 where like I was really into alternative rock, and also like a little lipstick bit of Q. a little a little hipster Q was definitely no, I said a thing. Lipstick Q. No, hipster Q was a thing though. Lip- mm. Lipstick Q. One day thing. One day thing. Okay. Uh, I think I remember that. <laughs> I was a little bit into Pierce the Veil, a little bit into metal. I was listening to Black Sabbath every day. <laughs> that was a good time. Respect it. It was a really good There's time. There's a lot of phases, though. Yeah. Just trying to find one to stick with. Yeah. I think this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Henny Q. <laughs> Henny Q, now yeah. There's Polo Q. Mm. Polo G as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also Polo G and Polo Q. Was right, right now, it's not more of like his looks; it's just more of what he's wearing. You know? Yeah, like, that's that's the face. But like his looks, I think it's it's staying. Right? Yeah. And okay. then there was like that curly top, like long haired Q. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Faded out, but you were like pre man bun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a good time. That was a good. <laughs> that time. was Jean Jacket Q. Oh man. Hey, you remember that? <laughs> yeah. I do. 
Because I do. I do. But yeah, four nah. years of this shit, man. We haven't, like... Yo, <laughs> you lit- it's my fault to cut you off, but literally if you go back from the videos, you will see every one of my faces. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, you know what I mean? Within uh, the months, you'll see it. Yeah. But yeah, four years. Quality has gotten better. Viewership, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> but we get in there right now. We get in there. So yeah, since we've had the studio and like since we've had guests, a lot of people have been showing love. I feel like it's it's happening. We're it's at happening. that point. People are asking to be on here. We got merch coming out very soon. Probably the same time this episode will come out. It'll be during that time for pre order. I already started the Shopify account, so you just gotta make up the uh Oh yeah, keychains. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I wanna show I haven't posted soon. mine, but everybody else kinda like <laughs> posted theirs. But we have our own. He's the only boy that posted it. I thought you did because I saw you take a picture of it. No, I didn't. I just sent it to my somebody. Oh. I had to be the first. Um. Yeah, we got keychains. And we got I... stickers coming. We got shirts, hoodies, hats. We moving up. We got this space. No cap. We got mm-hmm. guests. We got other sh- little projects coming up. It's a lot of. We've been working this month. We ain't do Thursday videos, but we've been working. We got Mark it. with his streams coming out. I love it. We got the charity thing that y'all know about that we kind of like trying to do it's a whole other thing we're making moves stay tuned waiting for high on pot news to take off mm. um, well <laughs> yeah stay tuned <laughs> that's yeah high on pot news that's another phase <laughs> 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 that is true pothead q that is true pothead q yeah edible q edible q edible slinging q here and there <laughs> part time part time you know comes around part time drug dealer and wants to no. and wants to <laughs> part time trapper it's not a full job <laughs> under the table it's under, under the, the table tra- definitely under, under the, the table, table you know a few dime bags here and there a <laughs> few nicks a couple uh, a couple zans a oh, couple man. addies <laughs> a couple per 30s oh my god so the store's open. Couple cartridges. <laughs> the store's open. Couple eighths. <laughs> just keeps going. Just, yeah. Couple pounds. Couple kilos. <laughs> Couple like, uh, Quinn, is there something more you need to talk about? A little trip to Miami here and there. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is, yeah, yo. It's like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's that rich drug dealer last. <laughs> uh, 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 that's that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I get into. When I get into uh, a lot of shit. <laughs> children, children, <laughs> settle down, settle. Down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people say I've changed. It's the drug money. It's the money coming in. Um, <laughs> yeah, life is good. We've been nah, moving. Me. All right, <laughs> yeah, I mean, nah, me. right. Life is good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so it's been a fun ride. So this is the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the last episode. No. No, um, it, it, has, just, it just pauses for each frame. Mark went on to be a <laughs> spectacular screen, game. White text. <laughs> Victor now owns a 500 <laughs> <laughs> 500 company. Quentin died from selling, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> selling drugs. Wow. Because all he knew was yayo. <laughs> Quentin's next trip to Miami wasn't as fun as he thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> just cuts to the fucking scene from Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I like you, Tony. <laughs> 2016. I've been thinking about this because it's like, yo, like, even though I don't take pictures like that, I have this to like look at for like years. Like, if I want to like look back at how I looked like when I was 17, up to like now when I'm like older or whatever, I still have these fucking episodes of just like, yo, I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> how do you think I feel? How, how do you think I feel? <laughs> Why do you think I deleted all the pictures on my Instagram and left the ones that are like now? <laughs> like somewhat decent. Like nobody yeah. can see these. Somewhat. Thought they all look good. Shit, now I, I got to rethink. Hold I, on. I on. took them. What you mean? Let me, let, me, let me delete those. I edited or took like at least half of them on your page. Yeah, that's true. All right. You want to calm down? <laughs> <laughs> so. But yeah, not only phases of like what we look like, just the phases of like where we've been at like, yeah too many all of our freaking different locations no video <laughs> we used to be to touching video. knees in mark's room i kind of look at us now so what <laughs> what hmm? you get what was it so the other locations <laughs> like you know franklin street different parts of franklin street yeah just in the house it then winona. Uh, winona winona was where we resided at for quite some time and now we're here on uh what's that susquehanna yeah 
You talking about? You're, where are you staying now? Oh, it's Norris. Name? Norris. I'm tripping. I thought you were talking here. I was like, what are you talking about? I was thinking Susquehanna because it's up by me. I yeah. was like, what? <laughs> it's, one on, it's Susquehanna on Broad Street. Oh, yeah, that's true. Past Diamond. Yeah, all right. Calm down. Um, <laughs> this is what it's going to be today. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, Norris, Winona, Franklin, Quentin's... Uh, my grandma's basement. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Basement. two episodes. We got asbestos in our throats. Mm-hmm. Uh, we took our headshots there for that one time. Too. Yeah, yeah. Then we went to uh, that your friend's uh, studio space. Yeah, for like one a day. Time. Your house, the basement. Mm-hmm. Couple, yeah. couple good, couple good recordings down there. Then what else? We had not even this studio, but like the other room over there. When we like, oh, yeah. when we didn't use it, when we had the yeah. albums in the background. That was nice. Different parts in Winona. Yeah. It was my room at some point. But it wasn't living recording. Room. But in living room, yeah. Jesus. God, it's been all over. Here we are now. We've 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 been all over. And um next place from this is our own whole space where we don't have to worry about shit. And then we're good. We don't have to worry about people changing the cords. <laughs> or messing with anything or giving us let's not talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna watch us. Yeah. We provide. They provide, so they give us a lot. It's all good. Cut, cut the shit though. Okay. It's not even probably them. It's probably the people that they give it to that just don't. True. People give a that fuck. just don't care. Cut the shit. <sighs> so, okay. you want to talk about Tory Q? I know. I was about to say. So, another news. <sighs> I heard about the live last night. Was it a live? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Megan went on live because um, Tory Lane's publicist was throwing shade. Was he? She and um, saying tired. that, saying that Tory didn't know such thing. But like, who else would have? Yeah, like, exactly. The, and why would she so, make that up? So they, were, she, they were cool before all this shit popped off. Yeah, so she went on live and was just like, you know, saying how it was getting heated in the car. Everyone was arguing. There's Kylie, her, Tori's bodyguard, Tori, Tori in the back seat. She in the front seat. Kylie was in the back seat. And then uh, she was probably so uncomfortable. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, Travis. It, it, was, right? it was like Travis? it was like getting into it so heated to the point where. Uh, Straight up. When she got out the car, um, Tori like stuck his hand out the window and like shot her. In and the then in the foot. Yeah. She's lucky he didn't shoot her like in the leg, like somewhere could have been. Somewhere crucial. Yeah. But I'm just like, yo, and, um, so much anger in a small man. We really would have lost another like up and coming rapper like that was on their coming. Bro, both stupid. both of their careers would have been wiped out. Like his career is like done, done. now. Like quarantine radio. <laughs> like that's just going. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's okay. Just flushed, fl- <laughs> flushed that shit down the toilet. Water on the bridge. Is, that shit is gone. Um, I was and go ahead. it's a shame. Really fucked with his music. That's why I, I, I keep skipping. I was I was working out yesterday. I was like, y'all can't listen to this. Like it was crazy. Like this morning, like after because I watched a video on like Twitter, like the snippet on the, her live saying like how she felt and everything like that. And I was just like, yo, like, this man's really canceled. Like, it's over. Like, like it's There's no way coming over. back. You know, like, like some people crazy. can come. He was, like, he was at such a high. Yeah. Was, I, mean, I would just, not. No, he's going to come back. Easy. Because if 6 9 could come back, he can come Bro, back. but he shot Megan. I know. But some some people going to. Like, 6 ix 9 ratted, but people were like, all right. Like, there's, the, like, people like, oh, he ratted. But, like, then again, his people were trying to kill him. Mm. So. It was like okay. he had kind of more of a reason. Like, yeah. It's, it's his life. But so it's like, then again, he tried to take ha, it. Ha. Yeah, like, people were like, oh, like, there's a lot of people like, no, fuck that shit, he read it. But it's like, bro, like, yeah, they were plotting like, yeah. to kill him. And it's like, no, fuck that, he read it, bro. He, he, I don't, I will never understand that, still. My, <laughs> but my whole thing with Tori is, like, again, if we're comparing it, like, to 6 9 in a sense, like, 6 9 came back, but, like, he's not where he was. When True. He, so that's probably how Tori's going to be, honestly. Now he's just more like a... It just seems like he's just making money off of social media, doing dumb shit. Like it's not like he's like on the music. You're gonna show see anymore. him on like a medical commercial <laughs> now. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Tori. No, like I just I seen the other day he was like him in like a hot tub or something like that. He was really? shooting a video. He's uh, like, Yeah, he's like, you know how we live in all this other shit? He's like, if y'all wanna like pause and take screenshots, <gasps> by the time I post this, I'm already gone. And he just started laughing. Like he was just doing dumb shit. It's weird. But yeah, Tori is kind of fucked up because he was at such a, like he dominated this whole quarantine shit. Had Easy, perfect bro. idea. He had he, people he built that up to promote his freaking album. Probably could have got a deal with somebody to like make that thing full time. Mm. Like Apple Music would have gave him a quarantine radio because freaking sure. uh, the versus thing that started during quarantine got its own deal with with Apple Music, mm-hmm. where like they will like rep- like whatever they do on IG Live, they goes on to Apple Music too. 
easy, and they probably got mad money for it. He could have, and then he, then he stopped it basically as soon as the album came out because it was like that's all it was that's for. Yeah, that was what it was for. And this man with his anger management and such a small guy. Protect Megan at all costs, man. She's the only one who has like no type. Yeah, she doesn't really like, have any. Like drama Doja and her were popping, and then Doja did her whole shit with like back in the day of like the whole tiny chat shit, and then. Megan was just she like yeah I got a song with Beyonce like what's good we both in Houston Oasa. and even now like what was it her her mom passed away and some somebody else passed away didn't they? her dad she, was it her dad really? like recently well, like not recently but I, I know her mom and her dad are both gone uh, I feel like I heard something like another person close to her passed away after her mom passed away and then also like just like her being on to herself like graduating school like she did all the shit the right way mm-hmm. and she hasn't caused any problems yet. Um, but she's been great. This is killing it. It's a real bad. And she's not like a bad rapper. Like she's a lot better than mm-hmm. a good percentage of what's out right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like honestly, like she yeah. be spitting. Yeah. She do compared. She do be spitting. So yeah, um, it's pretty crazy. And yeah. you haven't heard a word. Yeah, because they were trying to keep it silent. Like they were trying to sweep you it can't under. Though, like like yeah, exactly like. I don't know. Yeah, Meg was, like, basically saying, like, you know, I didn't want to, like, get into it and everything like that. Because, I mean, it makes sense. Like, you know, it's her life and, like, what happened. She doesn't feel like talking about it. But she was like, yeah, you know, after hearing, like, what you were saying, what Tori's publicists were saying, saying that, like, oh, yeah, you know, it's not true and everything. She was like, all right, no, I can't. I can't let that slide. Like, she was like, this this nigga over here, he did it. And, you know, you know, like, she's just like, wow, she can't believe that. They would have him say that and shit like that when he clearly did it. So she just had to come out and say, like, yeah, you're corny. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, too, because you think about it, like, somebody said this on, like, I think it was on Twitter. It was basically saying, like, she could have off rip, like, when the cops were there said, like, yeah, he shot me. And he probably would have died. Because you see how, like, shit between, like, black men and police shit go. And he got, he's an armed man who shot somebody. Like, you, know, what makes you think they're not going to treat you the same? Mm-hmm. So she withheld that shit on purpose until like after the fact and then she was like yeah like he shot me it just still amazing. even then with her with a bullet in her foot she's like let me protect this person like it's it just still like and it's like it's just crazy like bro like what possessed you like i can't like i just i've tried to run scenarios in my head like bro you really just did this out of anger like right. there was nothing else that and like, it was like it was like she got sh- like we knew she got shot but it was a good two days until we heard like oh like yeah uh-huh. tori did it yeah because we were just like something happened that's all we really know but then it got into detail, and we were like, "Wow!" I just know motherfuckers gonna be like, you know, like six nine came back, and then he dropped Gooba, and it was like, you before you played it, you be like, "You fuck with six nine? and they be like, "Yeah, well, all right, but I tell them, "Don't dick ride, don't." And then, but now it's gonna be like, "Yo, you still fuck with Tori?" No, nah, no, nah, I don't fuck with Boy. Right. Yeah, me neither. Yo, you fuck with Tori? Yeah, I fuck with Boy. All right, but <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure you always gotta ask before you play it. Yeah. That shit Fuck this be... whole shit up. Yeah, that's a bad job, man. That shit corny. Bro, you gonna shoot Meg the Stallion, bro? You think shit gonna be sweet? Yo, he he had to be all something, bro. Ain't, ain't, that's what I'm saying. Like, why you just snap it? like that? Somebody that's like your friend, bro. It ain't because no... there's been videos before of, the, of them Them like, busting it up, yeah. chilling like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> This man was all something, bro, because you can't sit here and just want to shoot a bitch or something she said. Like, your feelings that hurt? Like, bro. bro like, fuck, she was like, fuck, she was like, like, you mean, like, your music trash or, like, there's he nothing probably, she could have said. He like, probably ain't never fucked with a girl that was like her. That's probably why. And once she kept it real with him, he was like, oh, fuck, she not, she not with it. She not letting me do what I want to do and fucking got mad. Made no sense. Like. There's been videos of guys getting slapped up by girls and just they're eating and be like, all right, chill, like whatever, like just keeping they cool. That's what I'm saying. Like she probably said one word. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the word is no. bro. Like that's he was, he was pissed off of that. He bro, he he had that taking something like I I want a drug test. That's what I want right now. It's a little too late. Let, let's let's know, get same on. I don't know, but like for real, cause ain't no way, bro. I'm sorry. I I've heard a lot of harsh shit to me. I ain't ever want to shoot a bitch. You mean? <laughs> so what did you want to do? Cry a little bit. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, all right. I just get disrespectful back. Like that's all I really. That's all you really do is like you get heated. Yeah, you got to take it somebody there. Like, unless she pulled the ratchet out on you. Like what you doing? Like bro, that's what you, I'm saying. Like, at that point, you're defending yourself. We going bitch pop out. Like just start busting. Like that shit crazy to me, bro. 
it's really some bitch shit too, because it's like, why are you gonna just start busting at a female? Like, couldn't handle you. You couldn't yeah. argue back. You couldn't. You couldn't argue back. Right. Yeah, you're in your own car with your own bro, bodyguard. Man, bro, there, imagine like, he would have killed her for real. Like, that's God forbid. Like, that's crazy, bro. Well. Like, come on now. And then Kylie. <laughs> Fuck. She would have done a Pepsi commercial or something. <laughs> that was Stop. Kendall. I know that was I know. Kendall. So it's a Jenner. I mean, shit. Who knows? They, they probably really would have got heated and did something. What did something to her too? Who knows? Just to keep shit. I don't know. But... <laughs> Travis Clint. <Clinton>. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight up. Straight shit. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy too. Even like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kalani was like, yeah. Like I had a song with him placed, and it was already released, but I can't really do anything about it. But like, I. She, on the, it, she talked about it. She's like, I removed him because she's going to release, I guess, a deluxe version. And she just added another verse and removed his mm. just to like. That's, that's what I was thinking too because to I have that song on my phone and it came to on it. today. And I was like, damn, I wonder how Kalani, like, I didn't even know she she spoke on it already, but I was like, I wonder how she feels now that, like, you know I mean, because she support Megan and the, mm-hmm. <laughs> he the boy on the song with her. And the song mm-hmm. slept too. Like, it's literally the first song on the yeah. album. That's what's crazy about it. Or seconds a second. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Bad job. Shitty situation. I like them tatted bitches. Hakalani. I'm just thinking Young M.A. Where's she been at? Can we talk about Young M.A. real quick? <laughs> she, direct, she directing porn, bro. Oh, little bro ain't pregnant. <laughs> Yo, I saw that shit on Twitter, bro. That shit had me crying. He said, I ain't heard from Young M.A. in a while. Oh, little bro ain't pregnant. <laughs> Bro, I was crying, bro. Yeah, hit her up, Quinn. I'm on her. I'm like, yo, bro, bro, what's up? You good? <laughs> All right. Last time I, like, I, heard, I mean, she released some songs, but like, mm. last like major thing that she shifted was she was doing like she was directing lesbian porn or something like that. I was just like, no, yeah. get with her. <laughs> I didn't know how true that was, but that's what I. Shifted. I know it <laughs> is. It's on right. Pornhub. Like it says, directed by Young M.A. I ain't watch okay. it enough, man. I ain't watch yeah. it enough. I, I ain't watch it enough. <laughs> you come across I, it, bro. I just, I just I seen it. I how did that even start? Like, how she even, like... I, she like Toto, bro. I don't know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? So do you. How yeah, many, but, I mean, that's true. I ain't directing it. lesbian porn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get on her type time, you know? But, like, come on. So she just... Honestly, it was probably she just... got connects. Like a, but low-key, if, like, if we... Email. If I was to blow up in any type time, like, I would be on the same way of like i just want to do everything like i don't care yeah, like, that's true. like somebody like if somebody come to me like yo you want to direct the porn i was like fuck it <laughs> sure. like fuck it right another thing to add on to my bucket list Why like it's not? whatever hey i'll keep having that cash flow <laughs> imagine that resume you hand in top of the john directed porn that's host, I, would never, I would never want to be just in one thing like if i was to do music and i'm like all right i'm gonna I'm a be like i want to bring back if i were to be an artist like be popping i want to bring back like somebody who's like who raps but also show up on a freaking sitcom or something like that. Like that shit used to be popping back in the day. That's true. When you would see like fucking well, most recently I would think it was like Chris Brown would show up on like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Mm. But like even back in the nineties, you would see like Biggie be on Martin, mm. and, Tupac, like, Tupac like doing movies and shit. Like yo, that shit was tough. So I thought I feel like they should, but they should do more of that. But mm. only person should. who really act like that is Drake. Drake could act like real tough. Yo, really, Drake is, Drake is really a shit. fire actor. He's funny bro. as shit too, but bro, like that's what he started doing, like. But he's really like really when well, you see his like his SNL shit, bro. The one with like, Will Ferrell, that's the funniest shit, ever, oh, bro. <laughs> no, bro. With the the Cat one, Williams and all that shit. The one, yo, that's funniest shit, bro. But the one that still gets me to this day is um, when, my fault, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was holding my me fault. the whole time. Is the one where like, is the one where they did like the FedEx thing, and it was like, like dope. That business, and then like they had, and he was like the new guy. So then he tried to do it, and I'm like, D man, you know we love you, dog, but you just that. can't do it right. And then that. at the end, he was like, My little no Pinocchio. And then it's like, hey, yeah, not good. Wasn't there one also too where he was on there where he was doing like uh, diss tracks? It was a diss track when everybody oh, yeah. came up to him, and he got he got so heated Yo, off of it. The last one was funny as shit because when the the maid. Uh, she grabbed his water bottle. He said, I'm still drinking that. And she threw it away. He was like, oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then the John moved his hat. She's like, anybody sitting here? And then he was like, actually, there was, you bitch. That was for my hat. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm thinking about when I was just at your house for your sister's birthday when your mom took your brother's drink away. He was like, I'm still drinking that. <laughs> she just, just kept, kept moving going. with it. But no, oh, even that was hilarious. What else? Or even like his music videos, like the little skits he does on there, like uh-huh. have been good. Or like, like from the one with uh, Chris Brown. Did, uh... <laughs> no, no guidance. Yeah. He said, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> He's like, you want some of this? You want some of this right here? <laughs> Everyone's just like, no, stop. 
<laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, I feel like there needs to be more of that. Like, mm-hmm. I bring, wouldn't mind seeing bring something more to the table. Yeah, like you would say instead of keeping it so black and white. No, it's like, I think like if we all just did and like all really worked hard, we could all be like triple threats. I'm trying to be like a fire rapper. I'm trying to be in the booth. We've been trying to do this for four years, Quinn. Where's this where's this talk been at? No, <laughs> <laughs> we all just applied ourselves. I just wanna I just wanna drop a fire ass ETC mixtape. Motherfuckers gonna be like do, we could rent a space they, here. They're gonna be like, yo, hold up. These dudes that did a podcast for four years. That's what I told you, we could do a funny fire, ass, I told bro. I sent you before I was like, you could do a funny ass comedy mixtape. When the John I sent you was uh he was doing the reggaeton shit. He's like, boom, beep, boom, beep, boom, me culo. Oh, that shit is hilarious. He just stops everything. <laughs> Gets so close to the mic. It's funny as shit. But we could do, be on some little dicky shit and be like, all right, this is funny, but low key still hard. Like, right, this shit fire, but like, you know? It's <laughs> right. No, nah, but I'm trying to be on some real shit. I'm trying to be on some T Grizzly. I'm trying to be on some T Grizzly shit. Right up, wait, right Yo, you know what's funny? He's short, right? And the song Trenches, he's like, when they start airing out in the kitchen, he said he got shorter than a midget. And I'm like, bro, you already short. You can't. How short you want to get? All you had to do was stand up. They was going to miss you. Like, <laughs> he probably your height. You he probably is, bro. No, he really short as shit, though. I'm going to look his height up real quick because both really short. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these people, like, yeah, and it'd be funny, too, because they'd be like the hard rappers that would just be tiny as shit. Bro, the first thing Sorry. I type... <laughs> Fuck out of here. What? 6'3? Right. <laughs> Yo, they said he's six feet tall, bro. He's short as shit. Fuck out of here. That's all I'll tell you. It's probably your height. That's what you get, mad. That's what you get for talking shit. He can't shit. be taller than me. Stop. <laughs> no, bro. You fucking lying, bro. No, he, they, they said about. I said T Grizzly height. They said about six feet. <laughs> they don't even know about, him. Even, that's, bro, he they wrote that shit. Him. They probably He probably wrote that shit, bro. He's at the, he's at the doctor's. He's like, how tall are you? About six feet. They said, look, 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 if I give you a stack right now, would you say that I'm six feet on my on my paper? They was like, we just got to get your height real quick. He said, no, I'm good. I'm about six feet. <laughs> I, I checked before I left the house. I che- he's like, like, I checked I checked before I left Wawa. You know how Wawa got the little strips? Little it, said, little it, it said about. It said about. What is that? Who is that for? Oh, so that's, um like, let's say you got robbed, right? Like, the store got robbed, and they, like, they're like, oh, how tall was he? Like, about here. Yeah, so like, when, oh, when he, out, oh, when I'm he, gonna run, I'm gonna run out squatting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never catch me now. They'll never find out my height. Yo, they can't just Fuck jump. That. No, Robin Wawa about being short. They also tell you not to chase after you. They do that like, in a lot of stories. Yeah. yeah, they just say fuck it. I remember that. Well, no, it's because like when the cop comes and it's like, how tall was he? We really don't know. like. About, I'm not about green. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> about on the green color. I think so. It's just like, yeah, he ran when he ran his head like touched the yellow top. So <laughs> like, I don't know, five two. <laughs> like, I don't five, know. Ten. I feel like, like I don't know. If it was me, I really wouldn't be worried about that. Like I feel like they would obviously say like that's what you have to worry about. But I'll just be like, what did he take? Like what yeah. did he look like? Or like what was he wearing? Especially when shit like that. If it's like more hostile, you don't remember shit. You'd be like, y'all don't even saying. remember the man's face. Like yeah, like that shit happened. Like it just happened so fast. Like I'll be like, oh no, focus on the color. What color <laughs> was he on? I think he's green. Mm. Should be happening so quick. You don't even remember what the fuck happened. Every thief I've come across, I don't forget their face. And it's I like, heard, I heard Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't forget a face. <laughs> About to go right back to their crib. Go remember, beat them senseless, and then ask them questions. <laughs> bro, you know what make me crack the fuck up, bro? On Twitter, when they anytime it's somebody getting fucked up, they be like, <laughs> Batman, when he see a nigga selling the dime bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was high pitched, <laughs> bro. Because I'm thinking about the big ball. He fucking picked the ball up, slammed oh, me. Yeah. Somebody was like me with the bag of ice, <laughs> and, and somebody was like Batman. We see a nigga selling the dime bag. <laughs> now who's your supplier? <laughs> Tell me who do you work for? Who do you work for? He's like, I was like Family Guy with his arm behind his back and shit, all fucked up. He's like, boys just like. Ah man, my fucking cousin, man, <laughs> fucking Jerome, dog. And he's like, relax. He's like, you sure you don't suffer Joker? He's like, no, man. <laughs> Not everybody work for the Joker, bro. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> and then still beats them after they give him the answer. So like, like, still break his fucking arm. <laughs> like, Damn, oh, bro. <laughs> I told you everything. <laughs> Both my arms just like this. He's like, I just wanted to make sure you're telling the truth. <laughs> 
Well, shit. Now I'm fucking paralyzed. We're well, going to pay for this fucking medical bill, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> He's like, I'm only selling dime bags, bitch. I can't afford like, this shit. He's like, oh, shit. Uh, uh, the bag said no. The bag said no. I'm out. <laughs> this motherfucker just hop in the Batmobile and just roll out on your ass. You on the ground hurting. <laughs> Yo, Batman. Could, Batman real, like, strong, bro, because... I don't know if you ever played the game. He whoop an ass, bro. Yeah. Whooping the shit out the motherfuckers. He'll flip them up and then he'll just kick them right in his spine. You done for the life. Like, you in a wheelchair now. Tripping. Motherfuckers being Arkham just rolling around. <laughs> Riding dirty. <laughs> oh, shit. So, <laughs> this is a nice, quiet. <laughs> no, it's, it's nice, nice and time quiet. Anyway. It was about that time. Yeah. All right. All right, where can they find you, Mark? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter. Well, Instagram at ECC, Marky Mark. Twitter, Marky Mark. Quinn, where can they Isn't find it? you? Yeah. You went? Huh? You went? Yeah. Nice. I was supposed to go yesterday. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Q, et cetera. Who'd you go with? Myself. Where can they find you, Vic? It's still your turn. No, did you even uh, say I said it? it real fast. You, um, find me on Instagram and Twitter at Q, et cetera. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this man. Also, Uber Eats. <laughs> find, me on, <laughs> find me on Instagram, and Twitter, ATC Victor, etc. Stuff is real, etc. Emails real dot etc. At gmail dot com. Um, anything y'all want to say before we get out of here? Um, merch coming real soon. Uh, be on the Ooh, lookout shit. for that. A lot of shit coming soon. Um, A lot of shit. We yeah. we've been working. All right, um, we gotta talk. Hear that? <laughs> working. But yeah, merch coming soon. So be on that. Thank y'all for rocking with us for four years almost. Uh, Thanks, B. I know you've been rock with us since the start, bro. <laughs> Four years. Yeah. Uh, we love y'all. See you next week. Bye bye.